detects over 50 types of cancers in their early stages. If the cancers are detected early enough, they can be diagnosed and treated much quicker. 13 News reporter Raya Torres visited the company and learned more about this test. EpiSeq test developed by Precision Epigenomics started as an idea from students at the University of Arizona. And for the last few years, a local company soon developed this idea into a reality. Most cancers uh, do not have uh, a screening uh, test available to them. And so this is now offering a, a new means of actually trying to be able to detect cancer early. The American Cancer Society predicts over 600,000 people died from cancerous diseases last year. A new blood test from Tucson-based medical company Precision Epigenomics uses a blood sample to detect over 50 types of cancer in its early stages. A diagnosis of a late-stage cancer um, leads to uh, limited treatment options and actually can be um, an extreme uh, burden uh, financially on to patients. The tests can detect several cancers in the brain as well as other spots like the liver and esophagus, some of which are not normally detected until the later stages. For most cancers, there's actually not very effective screening tests at this time. Matthew, who has worked in this field for over 20 years, knows this too well. He says apart from mammograms and colonoscopies, this test is not as invasive as traditional tests can be. We need new breakthroughs because obviously we're not, it's not enough what we've accomplished to date. So uh, being part of these uh, new innovations is, is really exciting. The test has been commercially available for almost a year. The idea originally stemmed from a research project by University of Arizona students around 2018. As a professor at the U of A, Mark says this shows just how important medical and public health research is. Some of the, the breakthroughs that we're actually making can actually then be offered to people and then impact public health in a positive way. And so I think that's, that would be the importance, of, in my opinion, of clinical research. While this test currently retails for $699, the company is looking to cut down on costs to ensure more people can avail of it. Mark, their CEO, tells me the company has global aspirations and they're looking to license their technology so the test can be available around the world. Reporting in studio, Raya Torres, 13 News.